What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be counting all of my WWE Figure Championship belts. So last year in 2018, guys, we did do this exact video. We put them all in a pile. We got all of my championship belts in my WWE figure collection. We put them all in a pile like this. I tallied them up. I even wrote down, you know, how many there were. I even went back and watched that video. I posted that video about a year ago, and today we're going to redo it. You guys can see here I have the list, and um, I'm going to tally it up. Last year, there were 170 total belts, and this year we're going to redo it. We obviously have gotten more championships so I guess I can fill in those down here, maybe add them over here as well. So I'm not really worried about that. You can see that the big gold championship did lead with 24 total titles. What we can do is when we're done with this, once we're done counting up all of these championships, guys, we're going to tally up, you know, how what the difference is. How many have I gained more? And we're obviously going to see what the total number is at the end of the video. We'll see how many I have this year compared to last year. And we will see, you know, how many um, increases I've had. You know, I had three white Intercontinental Championships at this time last year. I'm pretty sure that number is close to 10 now, so it'll be cool to see how much they increase, and that is why I've made the columns here, but anyways, let's go ahead and sort everything out, guys. I'm going to put them in their individual piles like we did last year. I'll take you through it, tell you how many I have now. We'll compare it to the list last year, and just have a good fun all time on here on this Saturday morning, guys, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, I finally got all of the belts and the Money in the Bank briefcases and the custom title belts all sorted out. I mean, it literally took me forever, guys. I literally think it took me 30 minutes, possibly longer. Yelling. You're yelling. Why are you yelling? All right, guys, so getting into the piles, the World Heavyweight Championships right here. Last year, it says I had 24 of them, and this year, it says I have 30. We have 30, so we increased by 6. Still ridiculous that I have that amount. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Again, I got a bunch of them off Taobao for like a dollar. I bought like 12 of them at one time. I guess over the course of a year, I picked up 6 more. Next up, guys, we have the United States Championship. I think the United States Championship was in third place last year, and I had 11 last year. And this year I have 24, so that just tells you how many Mattel released. They released a ton of U.S. titles. I'm sure I got some extra figures in there. Added up the United States Championship, so I have 24 of those. Moving on to the Raw Tag Titles, guys. This one's very interesting. I did not expect it to be third place on the list. Last year I only had 9 of them. This year I have 20. So I went up 11 Raw Tag Team Championships. Again, I really am surprised by that number. I did not think that I had that many of them, but apparently I do. Next up we have the current day. WWE Championship. Last year I had 15. This year I had 18. And I thought the number would be bigger than that. I thought I'd have like 20 something, but I guess you know, they didn't release as many as I thought they would. But I feel like we get this belt with almost every figure in every series. Like I feel like we get one at least every Elite Series somewhere along the line, but I guess not. Um, it goes down over here to the left, guys. Universal Championships. Last year, it seems we had five. Only five last year. We're up to 13. And again, that's one of those WWE titles. Since it's a main championship, I guess Mattel wanted to pump that thing out. So we did get eight more of those. Here is one of the bigger increases behind the Raw Tag Titles in the U.S. title. We have the White Intercontinental Championship. And I knew that this one would increase, guys, because I only had three last year. And then they released the Top Talents Rollins. And they released, like, some other figures and stuff. So that, I knew this, this one would increase. Last year it says we had three. This year we have 12. So we increased that by nine, which I expected. Next up, guys, we have my Dull Championship belts. And these right here, you know, the ones that aren't shiny at all. They're just dull. We don't really get these anymore. And, you know, I can see why. I mean, there's really no point to them. But um, last year we had seven. And this year we have 10. So we increased those by three. Over here, we have my WWE Spinner Championships, and these I did not increase at all, and I think that is uh, one of the only championships. There may be a few in here that did not increase by any, but those were at 9 last year, and they are 9 again. That is because we haven't really gotten any in the past year with any new releases. Right here, we have the World Tag Titles. Last year, I had 7 of these, and now I have 8, so we only increased by 1 with that one, which is kind of surprising to me. Up here, we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, and like the Raw ones, guys, we did not increase at all. We are right at 8 and we were 8 last year, which is crazy. Like, I thought we got a couple of these. Maybe I sold them. That doesn't sound right to me, though, so I don't know where 
the, the, the craziness is. I know that we got one Raw title with a Seth Rollins, and then maybe we got the Raw title with a, the Elite 64, so maybe I just got a lot of the Raw championship from picking up those Seth Rollins figures. Next up, we have the Attitude Era WWF title. We had six of these last year, I do believe, and this year we have seven, so we increased that one by one. Old NXT Championship, guys, we had five last year, and now we have seven, so we went up a couple on the NXT Championship, the older version. No, my bad, we had four last year, so we went up three. Next is the Oval Intercontinental Championship. For this one, we had seven, and we're at seven again. I feel like I traded one, but then I had this, this new red Oval Championship, which I guess... Um, I wanted to put in here, I don't consider it a custom because if you have like a, another, if it's just a repaint or whatever, I just threw it right back into the, the pile there. Over here, guys, we have my Money in the Bank briefcase slash trophies, and we have, uh, last year I only had one Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophy, now I have two, I have an extra little trophy there, and then I have a bunch of briefcases. Um, I'd have to look at the numbers. I think that we increased our blue briefcases by one. We increased increased our uh, gold chase briefcases by three or four. We increased our, obviously, the women's money in the bank and then the green one are new, so that's why we have those. And the rest are all the same with that. So there's all our Money in the Bank briefcases. Coming back over here, guys, we have the Cruiserweight Championship. I think last year I only had one. This year I have six of them. Raw Women's Championship, I think I had two last year, and I have six of those now. Older NXT Tag Titles, guys, last year we had four. This year we have six, so I increased that by two. I can't remember exactly what we got between now and then that came with those, but maybe it's the Hall of Champions DIY. I think that's where they came from. Right here we have the WWE Championship from 2013. Those stayed the same with five. The European Championship also stayed the same with five. The older WWF title, we had three last year, so we increased that one by two with five total. I have one of those duller ones. It's not completely dull, though, so I kept it out of there. And then we have the blue version, and we have that version that came with the Bob Backlund Walmart exclusive. Over here we have some Jax Championships, and I had zero of those. Actually, I think I had, last year I think I had one U.S. spinner. This year I have five total, so we did increase those. Back here we have the Rated R Championship, stayed the same with four. Four World Tag Team Championships on Raw from uh, the Ruthless Aggression Era. We have three Undisputed Championships or WWE Championships, so that stayed the same. Three Penny Belts because I hate that belt, so I didn't want to change it. We got the Cruiserweight Championship, three of those. I think we increased that by one. SmackDown WWE Tag Titles from the Ruthless Aggression Era, only three of those stayed the same. Hardcore Championship went down one, which I think is only one of the only belts that went down in numbers. The NXT Championship, the newer version, we had one last year. We have two now. Million Dollar Championship stayed the same. We got brand new NXT Tag Titles, which obviously weren't existent last year from Mattel, so we got two of those. We have two SmackDown Live Women's Championships. I picked up the official version finally, so that is the only one I was missing last year. Still had that custom. We have one ECW title, one silver version of the ECW title, one Alundra Blaze women's title, one internet title, one Smoke and Skull, one women's, one NWO world championship, and one UK title. So in all, guys, we have all the championships laid out here. You can see, like, you think about it, you think there's more belts than this. You would think that there's more versions and variants and all of that good jazz, but there's really not. Like, laying it out right here, I thought that there would be, you know, more piles, but there's really not. And the total number last year, guys, um, the total last year was 170 championships, and this year we have uh, we have eclipsed 277. So we have went up 107 belts, and most of those came from customs. Uh, custom belts last year were 15. Now we have 29, which I do want to show those off real quick. Uh, the reason though those have increased so much is because of Last Smith and you know uh, WWE figure artists. We got some women's tag titles, Finn Balor titles, some Hemp championships, IWGP. We got some custom belts, one of a kind championships. We got the AEW championship, 24/7 uh, titles. You have all of my pick fed championships, would look which look fantastic. Love all of these so much. We have the both versions of the Extreme Championship back there. You got both crappy versions of all the Vindication titles while we were waiting for those to get made. And you have the best title in all of the land. You got the MDT Championship right there. And yeah, guys, 277 total championships here today, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy counting all of these up.
you guys enjoyed the one last year, so hopefully we can get the same amount of success out of this one because we did increase it by 107 belts, so that is very, very interesting to say the least. 277, I cannot get over that. We also have the, the four big actual real life championships on the wall there. So those aren't figure belts though, so those, those don't count, but thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any other cool video ideas or things you would like to see out of the collection, guys, please let me know down in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.